So I've got a build here that I've been putting together. And right now I've got a 3060 Ti PNY in there. And the issue that I've got is I'm wanting to put in an Intel Arc. I've got two Arc A750s. And both of them will freeze when Windows starts. So I'm going to hit the power button. Get the lights up here. CPU. And then BAM RAM GPU boot. So right now it's lighting up VGA. Lighting up over here on the screen. And we've just beeped boot. We've got MSI here. So everything seemed to go perfectly fine with the 3060Ti. I've also had an RX 570 in here. This is an X570 board. Uh, what are we at? MSI. I can't remember the exact model of this one. But if I swap this over to one of the two Intel Arcs that I've got, it will freeze or won't even display Windows. Right now it's perfectly fine with the 3060. Let's swap it over and see what it does. Ta-da! So now I've got the As ASRock Challenger Arc 750. Might up, I flick the power switch to on. Hit the power button. There's some great sounds there. I have a cooler that's a tad too close. There we go. Graphics card. System beep. Boot. No display. HDMI cable may help with that. And on this particular model, we have two HDMI ports. Okay, there. Monitor going to sleep. No lights over here. No display over here. Press and hold power. We're off once more. Back on again. Now I'm just mashing delete. So we go CPU. Light on, backlight on, and we've gotten into the BIOS. And there we go. X5 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi Fi, all the different words you can use. And if I go exit and tell it to load WD Black NVMe SSD, get MSI. Get loading. And we should be loading right about now. We have monitor going to sleep. So I'm gonna do a bit of research, but at the moment I've tried it with this one and the Intel Arc Limited Edition, and both of which produced the exact same issue. It only does that, like if I do a fresh install of Windows, I can go through all the installation just fine. It tries to install just fine. Finishes the installation, connects to Windows, starts doing a driver update, and then fails. Or at least, ends up here. So right now, I've added an older Radeon card of some variety. This one here, I just use for BIOS updates and whatever else may be necessary. Simple, doesn't require power, has HDMI fits in the second PCI-16 slot. And as you can see, no display. If I move it from here to the arc, you get monitor video accepted. Monitor going to sleep. And just to show that this card does operate, Got in slot one. 
Check it up. We have light. More light. More RAM. It's thinking about posting. Let's hit on CPU. There we go. We turned on. We posted. We're no displaying. So that GPU is functional. I'm going to now try it. Put the arc in the second slot. Now got the arc, slot two. Still nothing there. Loosely sitting there. No display, no post. Must be still starting. Display. Display. It's probably quite pissed off that I killed the power to it before. Understandably. So you advance, continue. I'm hoping now Windows will actually detect that that is installed or at least plugged in. And with it plugged in, I'm hoping I can tell it to install the latest drivers. Or we'll just go to sleep. Nope. Posting again. There's definitely a gremlin somewhere here. Still can't figure it out. Right click. Device manager. Display adapters. So that is the Intel one, being that's the Intel vendor code, 8086. Hoping we we'll go downloads and try to install the graphics driver now. Hopefully I'll have some luck. Begin installation, agree, next, uninstalling graphics driver. Now I'll just let it play through here. Creating registry. Looks like that was the file that just got removed. Oops, sorry about the blur. There, here. Look to be the same file. Still haven't quite figured out what it is yet. I'm just gonna put this down for a second. Yes, yeah, so the drive is now installed. I don't want to like launch R control. I want to go finish. Look in here. And up here. What I'm going to do now is power this down. And just hook up the Intel Arc in slot 2 and see if I can get an image. And then from there, if all going well, I'll switch it back up to being primary and see what happens. So after switching the graphics card back up at the top here, HDMI, turning it on, still going to sleep. And just for lols, I thought I'll tell it to install Windows 10. As you can see, this is before it's trying to install drivers, but it seemed to be perfectly happy right here. This was very similar to Windows 10, uh, Windows 11 before, where I'd go to install the operating system, and it would install, and then it would connect to the internet and download drivers, which I'll just tell it to do now. 
Do, do, do. Where are we? Yeah. Connecting. Got one fan kicking up here. On the thermal right. There we go. Now, this has got free reign on the internet, so I'm going to assume it's going to go for that graphics driver, which it's probably going to beat me getting it. Um, if Edge lets me in. But sure, my kid, it's not going to let us in. Not before that drive is done. And if I go the A750 Intel. If I go here and go downloads. Now, I can download the beta, but I'll just go up the stable. As you can see, we should be done in a minute. Do, 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 do. And let's go. Let's extract. Go device manager. Let's see what's going on over there. Display adapters. So right now, it's seeing it just fine. Which makes me say, what the hell is going on with Windows 11? And probably let's see what version of the driver we got going on here. September 2022. Clicked mail by accident. Go. Tell it to install. And we'll see where we get to. Let's. Let's reboot and see where we get to. All going well. This will actually display for me. Which I don't know what its current dilemma is. There we go. Here we go a second time. There we go. Monitor is going to sleep. Boot sequence finished. No, not quite. We're stopping on GPU. We're starting. No post sound. We're going to go to sleep. We have not gone to sleep. Let's investigate further. Display adapters, Intel Arc. Arc control, yes. Oh god, what's going on? Details. Driver version. 16 of the 3rd, 2023. Resizable bar is supported but not enabled. I'm pretty sure my BIOS said it was enabled. Let's go check that out. Don't tell me it started because resizable bar isn't enabled right now. Because with an Intel Arc, you definitely want resizable bar running. Boot sequence. RAM lighting up. Not much over here. Back to over here. Now we're lighting up. Advanced settings system. Oh, nope. Advanced PCI resizable bar is enabled. Odd. And now I've just had a bit of an epiphany. I'm running a Ryzen 9 3900X, 12 core, 14 thread, pre Zen 3. It's not a 5000 series. The 5000 series support resizable bar. The 3000 series does not. So my way of thinking right now is that Windows 10 
is a lot less picky about that setting not being enabled, or at least the graphics card's not that fussed, and automatically disables bar, where I'm curious with the 3900X running Windows 11 with the Arc, that it's trying to force resizable bar as it turns on and gets into Windows, and it can't because the processor doesn't support it. So right now, probably the only way forward for this machine is to run with resizable bar disabled, either on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Windows 10 at least it boots up and it's not freezing. Or I'd be changing the processor over to a 5000 series processor. And then from there, resizable bar will work for the 5000 series and Windows 11 would work. Or the Arc will get the boot out of the system and I'll put in a 3000 or 68. 6,000 or, or 4,000 graphics card into this slot and have it paired with that and it doesn't require the resizable bar for it to function. Anyway, that's a bit of a ramble about the Intel Arc experience I've had with an X570 board and a 3900X. Hope, you, hope this may have potentially helped you diagnose your Intel Arc issue like I've had with mine. Or at least you found a couple of ways to be able to, to get it going. Potentially try 10, potentially try turning resizable bar off in your BIOS. Or turn it on if it's off. Anyway, now I'll see you guys later. Bye.